What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 18th Node.js or rather I should say Express.js tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can retrieve data to Node by the user with the two most popular methods on HTTP and those are GET and POST. Now I hope you guys know about these two because they are the most common and you might have seen them all the time on internet because what this get means is actually that you are just writing a URL here mywebsite.com and then you are just passing in a bunch of arguments or the query parameters whatever you wish to say that like my file is um, I don't know maybe counter strike condition 0 dot zip and um, version is one I don't know if that version is kinda right for the game or not but for the demonstration if you have a server which just retrieves these two values and then accordingly search for database for the same game with the same version or <clears throat> whatever this would be here you know you get the idea so you can just get you can just make use of this get method to get this now with post what happens is that the data is transferred under the hood and the best example I could give for the post one which you'll see almost everywhere is the login forms so any website using a login form would highly most likely be a post be doing a post request to the server for example take example of facebook or gmail twitter pinterest or whatever you can think of <clears throat> all of those are using post for their login forms to send the data under the hood because point number one it prevents you from just exposing the data in the url and point number two if the website is using HTTPS then it encrypts your data as well so that's a plus point so anyways let's get started now I'm just gonna create a server again so I'm just gonna copy this file right there the script 17 one and yeah I should mention this probably that if you don't want to just write down all of the code which I do and you just wanna just get the code finally which will be at the end of the tutorial then you can just visit this form URL and inside under the node.js category or maybe node.js plus express.js whatever I named it you would find all of these files all of these files right there listed accordingly <clears throat> so you just don't need to write any code if you don't want to and you can just go to this website I have uploaded all of these files and you can just pretty much download each and every file and just take a look and accordingly whatever you like so in this application first of all I'm just gonna get rid of this thing right there and probably this file system as well so yeah so now what I'm gonna say is that alright so this one is index.html is already this line is returning this page so what I'm gonna say is that I'm just gonna send response as end and how I want to end it is like I want to do a JSON dot stringify of request dot um, query so let's just see what this is doing so if I run my node server node script 18.js alright and now I visit the server you can see these two curly braces and these two curly braces actually represent an object so this is an empty object and this is represented as a string because I've made use of this thing right there so what does this mean actually that means basically that you don't have any query string parameters in your URL let's say first name mehul and last name 
is Mohan and I hit enter now as you can see that we get something like this so this is an object with first name Mehul and last name Mohan so as you can see this thing right here I'm sending this thing from backend so this thing is already available at the backend so we have already access to whatever user is writing here or you know user is just submitting a form which is eventually writing something here at the backend so how we can make use of this well if I just create a simple application like if I just say um, what do you say so if I just say that var response equals hello and then I'm just gonna concatenate it with request dot query dot first name and I'm gonna just send this back as request dot end or basically this should be response dot end as response all right so if I just restart the server here and reload this page as you can see I get now hello mehul as the message and this last name is of no use because I'm not making use of this in my code at all so you know anything I type here is being returned as it is so that's how basically the get method works and you should probably try to encode whatever user is writing here into you know you just don't want the user to randomly execute some HTML here or rather I should say anything of which can be just made to exploit your website because currently I guess or yeah so right here if you see that we are not mentioning any sort of return type so I guess it is falling back to text maybe I don't know just check this out or you can just set a response type here as well but what I mean to just show you guys in this tutorial is that that's how you retrieve some data with the get and now about the post I guess I'll cover that in the next tutorial so this tutorial was to just demonstrate how to get data from the user using this request.query and this contains an object which contains all of the information written inside these query parameters so you can just send that back on the browser and just play around and mess with it and once you are done then go ahead on the next tutorial and that's pretty much it for this one so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching